Dick Larson comes from humble beginnings, growing up a block from Washington Park during the Great Depression. Well, there was a point in time in my life when I had no hope or little hope. And uh, I made the decision that when I was in a better position um, uh, in terms of my own uh, financial status or whatever, I was going to try and help people that were in that position and bring about at least a sign of hope for them that there's a way up. After becoming an engineer early in his career, he founded Larson Electronics, expanding the company to $15 million in annual sales. At the same time, Dick found his vocation through service. His church introduced him to Milwaukee's fair housing protests, where he befriended social activists throughout Milwaukee. He became heavily involved in the Congress of Working America, later Work for Wisconsin. He established a welding program at North Division High School and helped start a program to provide blue-collar workers with transportation. Dick was also an early supporter of the Next Door Foundation and even founded a sailing program for city youth. Inspired and influenced by Bishop Desmond Tutu, he became board president of the International Forgiveness Institute, pioneering a curriculum first used in Northern Ireland and still used in Milwaukee schools today. Dick later founded the Youth Employment Training Program at the Nehemiah Project, a home for at-risk youth, empowering hundreds of Central City teenagers. At 85, Dick shows no signs of slowing down. He's also working with the Kent Foundation, Coalition for Children, Axe Housing, and Rotary Club, and serves on advisory boards at UW-Milwaukee and Cardinal Stritch. From humble beginnings, Dick's widespread and deep impact will affect Milwaukee for decades to come. I don't know what's going to come tomorrow, but I know there's going to be something tomorrow that's going to <laughs> create an interest me, in me to the extent that I will say, yes, I'd love to do that, you know, with enthusiasm.